to be about uh, how to install kafka confluent in your local because confluent services are paid online and uh, you need to use some credit card debit card to like experiment those things so i'll be telling you like it is the easiest way to run these services in local machine so what we'll do first uh, we'll install uh, docker in our local machine and uh, we'll start the docker so if you can see now the docker desktop is running what we'll do we'll run this second command so if you are running this command first time it will take some time for you because it will download some dependencies and images so it will take time some time i'm doing this uh, i have done this command already so it will not take time for me as you can see now i'll run this th third command Let's see, broker is started, my server is getting started. Okay, cool. We'll see the status of all the <coughs> services. <coughs> cool, so you can see now uh, every server is started. Now we'll be checking in our local. So we'll just uh, go to this port local host 9021 it will show you the control center okay i think it will take some time to up and run we'll see the servers if everything is up okay control center if you can see it is running on our port 9021 okay i'll go to docker i'll check here okay here it is showing broker is not running okay sql data gen is also not running okay Now I'll try again to open control center. Okay. Show inside Docker. So I just gave a little bit uh, more memory. Now we'll see running it on 9021 again. Okay it will take some time to load let's see port number is correct yes yes it is loading okay yes so you can see healthy cluster is one control center will go inside it you can see the topic brokers connect case equal db we can create different topics here now the status is fetching data you can see everything is running we can use case equal connect also we can add different connectors data gen connector different connectors they have given also we can upload connector config file we can use case equal db applications so if you can see i have created one stream there are different things you can experiment this is very cool thing Okay guys this is pretty much for this video next video i'll show you how to create a data gen connector to reduce random data and how we can create a topic to consume that data and how we can apply case equal db on that topic so okay bye guys